the calm before the storm showed up in the peril trailer get some things set up and go walk down to the pits got done qualifying the sprint card I was not very thrilled about getting out qualified but you know what here we are cars in one piece my buddy Mitchell just turned one over and killed the car so I'm gonna go ahead and say maybe I need to chill the fuck out and be happy that this thing's in one piece we didn't qualify as good as I wanted to and that's just point blank period but I was so tight into three like I just did the super huck and the super huck is like Gas City, Putnamville, not, not Eldora. So, uh, qualifying is everything. It really sets for a good or a bad night. I'm gonna try to have a good night because, you know, I'm here with my friends. I love Kyle and this whole team over here. I've been racing with these guys. I've won one races for these guys for like the last 10 years. So, it's, it's nice being over here. Team Mez, on the other hand, my other personality, really wants to do fucking better. Timez wants to be on the podium, and I'm not happy until I'm on the podium. All right?
dude, this thing is not very good on the start. And ultimately, if I'm not leaning on something, it's not very good. You can see it just kind of swap in, getting into three. And I'm cheating three so bad, I, I'm not able to run the top very good. But this ghost slider here, I can kind of burn it in hard enough to like stick the right rear on entry. But see, I tried to do it there and try to stick it on entry and then just catch the curb off to like snug it up because the thing is trying to just turn left on me on the throttle which means I can only feed it so much throttle but when I get into the fence it's it's a little snug Eldora is really tough we don't ever race there and when we do um, we're pretty much using our notes from Lawrenceburg and it's so banked um, it's just a little bit different you know it loads the bars really hard I'm searching here, and the track is pretty treacherous. We're running second. They take four to transfer, so I only have to run fourth here. There's no need to risk it for a heat race. I was in a transfer. I think that was KT there. He actually gave me plenty of room, but still, we're going 110 miles an hour there. We don't want to crash. I was running the midget, so I didn't have time to talk to the camera much. It's tough um, just keeping up with the cameras when you're doing both cars going back and forth. And uh, you know, the pressure of Eldora. Believe the hype, as Wits Racing Products has all you need to get RC cars dialed in with Hyperglide ceramic bearings and other high-performance products for the competitive RC racer. Oh, I am in this thing so tight it hurts. Can't wait to get out and get rolling and I won't think about it. Uh, we start on the front row at the Four Crown Nationals. Talk about pressure on old Tevez. But that's okay, this is what I love to do. I'm so fortunate to have amazing people around me.
oh shit moment at Eldora, that kind of tames me down a little bit more because I'm not trying to crash our beautiful 23 car. I wait until Lawrenceburg to do that. But um, it's tough because the track is going away and slowing down every lap of the race because there's 20 cars using the track up. So you have to slow down with the track. And if I don't, I crash. better judgment and my patience and just keep the car in one piece. A lot of the time, and most of the time, you're basically only as good as the car you're in and it's hard to get much more out of it um, unless you change your driving styles and your minds. And, uh, you know, I, I tried a few things with this and it wasn't going nowhere and, um, yeah, so I'm just going to shut up here and let you guys watch the footage and Slider to run the bottom, high 